Hey everyone, um, this is I think the last part of my Everyone's Gone to the Rapture script stream. Um, as far as I've missed uh, earlier parts, so if you still need to play it, there's going to be lots of spoilers. It's going to be hopefully a um, really good ending where we find some answers, I hope. Um, it's completely done, it won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on, okay? We can talk properly. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful, that's all. I will, I promise. You as well. See you later on. Okay, so if you've seen any um, of the rest of the game, you'll know that it's in different chapters, and each chapter is narrated by a different person or follows the story of a different person. And this is Stephen. Um, so yeah, if you look at the map, uh, we started down the bottom in the observatory. Moved through the village, forest, farm, um, the campsite, and now it's on the lake side. So I think this, this almost we think it is the final chapter of this game. So Stephen is one of the scientists who worked in the observatory. And out of all the characters that we've followed so far, he seems to be the one who would be able to give the most you know, depth, the most information about what happened. So, hopefully, get some answers. So, it looks like some kind of warehouse. I can hear a radio somewhere. Hey, oh, why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify. Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark. Do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Well, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. Lizzie, listen. Ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. So, I don't know how he knows what, what, well, I don't think he does know what it is, but I don't know how he can tell where it is. Whether he can see the effect on people or measure it in some way. any other lights around so I'm just going to explore each house as it goes. Oh okay, there's one there. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think so. It'll be an adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't stop me again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's, well, older. 
She's not gonna want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language. Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's, she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Is that the end? So, let's check out downstairs first. Not much in here, I think it's, it's an empty house, so... Ooh, phone ring. Just check in case there's a radio or something. seem like it. So it's the first time we've seen this kind of strange light. she's infected by whatever it is. Still don't know what they're investigating though. I'm just going to stop and have a quick look if I can. So maybe they arranged to gas the village, or maybe that's what's happened to all the people to stop it spreading. Okay, this looks like a bit of a nicer pub than the one before. <laughs> you look well. I don't, but thank you. You do. How are you sat there now? Nothing changes around here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose. In a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about how things worked out. Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things. 
to put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering what she meant by that. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Sorry. Yeah, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. I don't think this is a good idea. What is it? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Mm, okay, so... We carry on along the main road, I think. phone box. Um, we'll go and have a quick look at this house just in case there's anything we've missed. Phone ringing somewhere. Wow, okay. So maybe that is how it ends? <laughs> so it's leading out of the village again now, so I don't quite know.
You knew what you were getting into. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me. Or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen! Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just don't. You keep away from me. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. Okay, so I think that's the way we already came in, so I might just keep heading this way. Hear a radio somewhere. in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. It's frightened too. It'll be okay. Was that it? So I still don't know whether the intelligence or whatever it is that she's she's found, whether she was looking for that originally or if she stumbled on it, you know, while she was doing some other research. So I'm not sure exactly what it is or They close the tunnel. There's no trains. Put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard. Is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. Did you know you're bleeding? Oh, it's this headache. It's just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but with all the crossed lines. It... But no direct contact with any other people. No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones. What do you mean direct contact, Stephen? So maybe it did get out of the village. They couldn't contain it in the end. the station. Uh, 
look like you might be able to get across over the bridge, but I'm just going to go and see what this light is over here. I'm sure it's all just here. Ah, oh, so maybe we do go over to the other side. I've never seen it. They do, though. You're overreacting. Stephen, they stare at me. <laughs> Yesterday I went into the village and this old woman just stopped in the middle of the street and stared at me like I had two heads. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I'm like a walking freak show. Oh, this place, it's so insular. I just don't understand how you grew up here. Well, I was very different then. And they're not so bad, really. That's easy for you to say. Just give it a bloody chance, Kate. This was the deal. A year here, and we could be in with a real shot at the seer. Stephen! Oh, Christ, it's Lantham. Stephen Appleton, I thought it was you. What's all this about a young wife? Oh, um, hello. Two heads, Stephen. Hi, I'm Kate. Hmm, okay. So maybe they weren't particularly looking for whatever it was when they moved here. See if there's anything else over the side. Oh. Darling Stephen, I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, um, well, I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. This plane's coming. Okay, so maybe she never did get out. Else to see. 
So if you missed the first part of the stream, um, the scientists obviously realised that the containment wasn't working, so they called in an airstrike. So I think that might be what's happened to everyone. So I don't really know where to go next, actually. I need to go along the tracks or... Go back into the village. See if there are any other lights down here. Try heading along the railway tracks if I can see anything that way. So, I don't think get through. Oh yeah. Okay, no. That's blocked. Uh, I might try heading this way. Okay, so that's where the station is. Yeah, I'm going to try heading along a bit, I think. There's no more lights or anything around there. Something Repeating over and over to myself in the dark, eating cold food from a can with my fingers. My name is Catherine Collins. I am Catherine Collins. As if I can force the world to acknowledge my existence. Time has ceased to exist in any real terms. I'm reduced to marking out the days on the walls. Like a cave woman. So she's stayed behind, she survived the airstrike apparently, so she must be in, in the bunker maybe, she's protected from it somehow. Shutting down the roads for a bit. Uh, you're going to be dealing with some anxious people, Howard, so 
You need to explain it's all under control and we'll be back to normal in a few days. All right? Open up the emergency store. There's posters and boards along with a bunch of stuff that hasn't been used since the war. Grab anything you think might be useful. I need you to close up any unoccupied buildings, put posters up, that sort of thing. Make sure everything is all squared away in ship shape. You are a military man, I'm sure you understand that. Everyone doing their bit, following their orders. All right? All right? I think. Good man. I knew we could count on you. So, just check there's nothing else in the house. I think the light is moving this way, so keep going along here. Oh no, is that the way we just came? Yeah, I think it is. Where's the light gone? take a look in here. So there's some kind of warehouse building. Understand, you can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here! Don't touch me! Get off! What's going on? Come in here! No. Jesus, Get up over Sam. us! Thinking you're so much better Sam, than you the rest No physical you contact! You stupid fucking missus! She's it. better than any of you! <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Meg, please. Don't come near me. Meg! Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! Don't touch me! Meg, please, you have to understand, it was an accident. Let go, let's just go. Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident. Let's just leave him. Leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, get Charlie, out of here. Meg, Charlie, please! Okay, so maybe he killed him. I really hope there is a definitive ending in this game. I hate it when it's when it's ambiguous. Not not all the time, but you know sometimes that works. But I think in this situation, you know, it's so it takes so long piecing everything together that you do want something at the end. You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking great lorry of his poisoning my birds? He shouldn't be driving it on these lanes, it's a hazard. I think he was hoping to have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. 
You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give... Not a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. No wonder I do what? No wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. Okay, so that's the next one. gonna go and have a look around here. I just feel like, you know, the first part of the game was very open, you know, you could go and explore the village and it didn't didn't lead you too much. Um, but this part I think has a tendency to dictate where you go. This is Catherine Collins, recording for posterity. It's all over. I don't know how long I've got. Whatever he did, whatever the planes were carrying, it's burning my lungs. Probably some kind of nerve agent. I suspect it's only exposure to the pattern that has kept me alive this long. I'm making my way to Tower 6. I'm going to fuse the signals from the optical array. I just... I just hope I can make it. So is she still trying to contact something, even though... Was she trying to get rid of it now? Let's just go and have a look in the cafe. And hear a phone. Hello? Hello, is there anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Clive? Clive, it's Stephen Appleton. Are you there? Can you hear me? Over. Come on, Clive, where are you? Was he killed by the entity or was that the plane the plane strike? Definitely worth exploring, yeah, you could just you could just follow this light the whole time. But it's definitely worth going to check out these other areas. Definitely been past some of these power lines.
Ooh, interesting. Goes down quite a long way. What is the kicks? My dad found tree. a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum would spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was, I was jealous. I think. The fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Later I found him crying. A Dunnock Kent son. That's what he said. A Dunnock Kent it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. So if it's spread, then I don't know who we are who the who the exploring character is. So this looks like it could be the end of the chapter. do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you... Kate? Wait. Stop. Kate.
This is Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Okay, so there is one more chapter. So he, he killed himself. I don't know if that means that we're actually the entity. On the plane, Stephen leaned across me and pointed out of the window. Down there, he said, that's home. But all I saw were patches of color. I don't think until this moment that I understood that one could contain the other so completely. Maybe because she was the one who first did the experiment. Well, it looked like he was also going to survive if he hadn't have killed himself. He he wasn't ill with the flu. So we've seen the first couple of towers, this is tower four. She was going to the sixth tower to try and do something, I'm not sure what. Stephen's hand and the moment hang in the air forever. I watched his face. And in the last second, I almost believe he saw me. He wasn't frightened or angry. I remember his expression, just like I remember it from the first time early that morning when he woke and Still half sleeping, said, God, I love you. And I loved him as he entered the fire. And I let him go. No, I, I wasn't ready to join him. We have held time to ourselves here in this place. Held the light to the ground because we were afraid of the coming dark. But now we understand that to cling to the light is not living i've spent my life watching the illumination from a million dead stars reaching for me without grasping this meaning 
the light we cast transcends our death. The pattern made by our living creates a bridge across the dark. Okay, so she was there when he died, but she didn't stop it. Oh no, I've just been up here. Uh, must be the other way. Oh, did I go to this one? Don't think I did. Oh yeah, this is tower two, so yeah, I haven't seen this one. Wow. Dot matrix printers. same thing. Confused now. Okay, so that was Tower One, Tower Two, Tower Three. That's four. So there should be two more. Be the last one. Tower six. So hopefully we get some answers. Go in. Maybe. 
The end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone. And we will join them. We are born apart. Driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean, and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. Ah, oh, it's the end. Well, I guess that was kind of an answer, maybe. Um, Not sure what to make of it. I don't know. Mm. I would have liked a bit more of a definitive ending, I think. Um, yeah, it's an unusual, unusual game. I liked it for the most part. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that ending. Um, I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm going to stick this up on YouTube um, as the last part of this playlist. Um, we'll be back on stream in a couple of hours. Um, my co-host, um, Daniel Phillips, is coming over to stream until dawn. Um, so you probably might have seen him on stream before. He does his own um, Binding of Isaac and Pens of Eternity streams. Um, He's a big Street Fighter player, um, and we're going to stream until dawn, um, right from the beginning, released today, so excited about that. So we should be back um, back on Twitch in a few hours, um, so if you're around and you're interested in that game, just come check it out. Um, okay, so um, yeah, if you like the stream, um, follow me on Twitch, um, as I say, I'll stick up on YouTube um, in a bit, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, really interesting game. I'm not so sure about the, about the ending, I'm not sure if that's, I would have preferred uh, something a bit more definite, but um, plenty of mystery there, I think. Um, but yeah, like generally, I enjoy playing it, so. Um, yeah, it's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take a break, um, get ready for streaming some until dawn later. Okay, thanks for watching everyone.